Hello YouTube and fellow Robocop fans. Welcome back to my channel, Guelo John. I'm your host, John. And today we're going to be doing part one of the full restoration of Hot Toys MMS 204, the Ed 209 figure. Which is beautiful. <laughs> I'm in awe of it. It's just huge. Absolutely huge. Um, so part one, we're going to be doing the dome. Uh, first of all, I'd like to give a shout out to um, YouTuber V Raptor. This was his idea, it's not mine. God, I wish it was. Um, but he did this a decade ago, which gave me the confidence to actually purchase a figure and, and, and repair it, restore it back to its original glory, because it is beautiful. I'd also like to thank the, um, the eBay seller that sold him to me, which is SSBadbo827 in brackets. Um, thanks, Chris. He is a, a beautiful figure. Thanks for letting him go. Thanks for letting him go for the price you did. And thanks for giving me the, the what must be the same unboxing experience you had in 2014 when you bought him. He was in, apart from the rubbers, he was in mint condition. And you put it back in the box exactly as you'd taken him out. That was so impressive. I was massively impressed, mate. So thank you very much. So if you want to buy a, a figure and he's selling one, you can definitely buy with confidence from him. That's a, a very rare eBay seller to give you that, all of that. And, it, and it, also, he, he marked everything that was wrong with it. There was there was nothing hidden. Full disclosure on everything. So again, really appreciate you, mate. Um, like I said, I would buy from him. I did buy from him. I bought the uh, I bought the uh, Robocop in the chair from him as well. So thanks again for that too. I might do something on the, on the rubbers of that if people want to see um, the, the repairing of the the rubbers on the knees and arms. I say repairing. Mm -hmm. um, then let me know and I'll do another video for for that particular Robocop in the chair. But for today, it's the dome. We're changing the dome. So you're going to need a milliput. Uh, one of these will do. I bought two uh, and, and I needed them because I screwed up the first one quite badly. Um, so you probably get a pack of two. I put it I put it on the on the picture as a pack of two. So go for that if you wish. And you need to um, get the speaker fabric, which is a wide weave. I've always put a link to where I bought it from. It's clear, so you can see, you see through it and it gives you the proper grid that you can see on the top there. Um, and the second part, part two, we're going to be replacing all of these um, rubbers, all the, all the gaskets. Um, I'll be showing you where to get them from and exactly how to fit them, how, exactly how to take this guy apart. Um, I don't mention in the videos how to separate the, the dome from the bottom. You literally just pull that apart. It's on, it's, it's on a peg inside, so pull it apart and then you've just got the, the large rubber underneath there. That's the one thing I missed out on the videos, I noticed that. I don't want to take him apart again now because I just I'm in awe of him. He is absolutely beautiful. He's the one figure that I look at when I go to Hong Kong all the time. I've, I've always thought to myself, I'm not paying that kind of price for something that I know is just going to rot in, in a year or two, and I'll take him apart. So, just so lucky I found him on eBay at such a good price, and in such good condition. So um, I'm, I'm over the moon with him. He's definitely in my top ten of um, of one six scale figures, and I do have a few. I like robots, robots and cyborgs. Massive fan of robots and cyborgs from movies. Really do love them. So I've got a fair few of those. But um, watch this one. I hope you um, hope you like it. And um, and go on to watch the second one. I don't know when the second one's going to be released. Maybe, maybe in a week or two, because um, I get Ryan to upload everything that I do. He, he edits and, ever, and uploads everything I do. Thanks for doing that, Ryan. Love you to bits, mate. Uh, but he's also got college. So if he's a college, he's doing his college work, which I prefer him to do, to be fair, rather than mucking about with these. Um, but um, it's, it'll be up to him now when, when, the, when the second part comes out. And I hope you, you guys will catch it, because then you'll see exactly how to replace all of these and where to get the parts from so you're not overspending, and how to separate these. It's, it, it wasn't easy, but I've done all the hard work for you, so you, uh, you can just follow what I've done there. Also, if, if, you, if you do do this and you break it, I can't take any responsibility for that. I'm just showing you what I've done to mine. So if you want to change the, the rubbers and stuff on yours, you're doing it at your own risk. As long as you know that, good. Are we good with that? Yes, everybody okay? Show of hands? Yeah, everybody's cool. Okay, crack on watching then. And um, uh, hopefully I'll, I'll see you again in, in part two. When it comes to dismantling the dome, it's it's just thick rubber. So you, you push with your, your thumb and lift and lift and lift and lift and lift until you get a slow little piece of the corner up. And then I'm using a plastic spoon, the end part of it, to go underneath there, like so. And then you slowly pull it away from the edge. And as you can see, hopefully you can, it's, um, the rubber is sunk into this ridge. 
So we're just lifting that off and hopefully there are screws and stuff under there once we're done. To show, so you can dismantle this. I'm having trouble getting off some of the uh, some of the rubbers on this. Well, that's basically what you're doing. So you, what you're gonna do now is, is go all the way around the edge until you lift off this uh, rubber section that is um, is corroding. Yeah, and, that, and that's the bit we're gonna be replacing with epoxy resin and um, speaker mesh. I'll get back to you once I've taken that off and we can see what's underneath, because I have no idea. Okay, this is stripping off the dome. It's got this far. Um, I've broke the spoon, so there's the, the you got that little, these are little disposable spoons that I've used, you know, the ones that come free with yogurt. Shows how fit I am. Hey, yogurt, how healthy am I? You're basically just pushing across here. It digs in, there's a little ridge that goes into there and you're just pushing like so gently pulling while you're doing it. Corners are a bit of a you gotta get in there and get that out. You'll try and take the whole thing off in one go if you can. It may be useful as a template, I don't know, for the, for the speaker mesh, not entirely sure. And it doesn't look like there are any screws on top of this beauty at all to get into the uh, actual dome side. They hide the screws so well on these the, the 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 engineering on this thing is just superb it, it definitely wasn't made to be taken apart again maybe they should have used better quality of rubbers but then any any form of rubber you're going to use is is going to degrade over time they always do which is why we're going with resin on this as you can see it just sort of peels you're pushing it you're pushing it off basically it's just a little bit of glue that's on the sides here as you can see there and you're pushing it off but the splits on these things man really does degrade unfortunate because it is such a beautiful piece with the resin and the, and the mesh on there um you're, you're never going to need to uh you're never going to need to to worry about it shrinking again because it can't it'll, it's obviously going to be like a resin cover on here thin resin cover slightly thinner than this because you've got the mesh to go on top of that as well and it's got to go underneath is what you've got to remember the mesh has actually got to go underneath and tuck into here as well so it's got to go underneath there and yeah, sort of glue on the underside of that. Well, I'll we'll show you when I've done it, if I'm successful. This is this is not my idea, by the way. I, I saw this, some, some guy did this 10 years ago with the original one of these, real ballsy move. It wasn't even damaged. And he took it off just because he knew it was gonna and, re and replaced it with the, the resin and the, and the wire mesh and the, and the um, speaker mesh. Looked absolutely amazing, it looked movie accurate is what he made it do. But I'll leave a link to him um, down below when I, when I finish the video. So yeah, just pushing do, 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 all the way around until you can peel off the whole thing in one go. Looks like a, an old teacher of mine whose hair used to flap in the wind because it was a comb over. Like an old Ed with a comb over. Bless him. Right, I'll come back to you when I've peeled all that off. Um, replacing this rubber dime. This is going to be my second go at, at Milliput. The first time was a disaster for me. I used double-sided sticky tape that was just too strong and it stuck it all in there and I had to, I had to I literally cut it back off to get it off again it's because it dries within three hours and it's uh, once it's on it's on this way around I'm going to do it differently so we've obviously removed this you can see the, the damage I did actually cutting it off but it's only inside the dome so you're never going to see the damage that I've done to it because it's buried underneath there but what I'm going to do now is, is put mini part in the ridge all the way around there so filling in this ridge which where it is where the lip sips sinks in because once it's on there it's with especially with the tape not impossible to get it back off i literally had to get in with a blade and try and cut that off as you can see where i've, I've cut into the actual underside of it so what i'm going to do is fill all of these parts here with polystyrene so that it doesn't sink into there and fill the rim all the way around with milliput all the way around there so that it's it when I, when I cover it in plastic and I'm going to use um, sticky dots on this rather than double-sided tape because that was too strong and I'm going to use a thicker plastic than cellophane that, that didn't work at all um, so uh, once it's once the milliputts on there it can just let be lifted straight off again because it was it sunk into the ridge and a double-sided tape just adhered it straight to it and it was solid so I know that when mine is done and I've covered it in the in the fabric 
then it will be double-sided taped onto there. And I know that for a fact that double-sided tape is gonna hold that as, lo as long as I need it held. So uh, I'll get on with the, the rim now, and then I'll, I'll probably come back to you. First of all, with, with the mixing of the milliput, I'll get the one I've already opened. Cram that in there pretty tight. Let's just tear that open. You're just using 50-50 of each. So it's an equal mix, just mix it up, knead it like dough till it's all one uniform color and then start using it. You've got uh, probably an hour before it actually starts to go off. So you've got plenty of time to actually work it in. And if you're doing around the rim like I am, you're not gonna need that much. Okay, get back to you in a minute, bye for now. Okay, the dome's done for the, uh, for the outer rim of it. So I've placed millipart all the way around the edge and let that dry. And I've filled all of these parts with polystyrene because the last time I did the dome, it sank in. It was impossible to get off with the tape I'd used and it's sinking into all the places. Once it had dried, couldn't remove it without having to smash it off. So this time I'm taking more precautions. Uh, the whole of the the, um, the rest of the dome is covered in um, cling wrap and cellar tape just to, so you don't get any more of the uh, really part on it. And then what I'm going to do, or what I've done, is cut this rubber in half that's the original rubber that was on it that's been cut in half so once you once you do the milli part you mix it together you can roll it out i'm using the inside of the the tube for the cling wrap so you get the milli part there you roll it nice and flat lay this on it and then literally cut around the outside it's pretty much a bang on template for it this one a little bit bowed because i don't want to cut too much off so again lay that flat and you're getting a, a it's just a rougher sort of estimate for this for the front part of the dome. So then when you when you put it on, you'll just obviously you've got your milli putt there, you'll just be able to put it on and it should uh, should fit straight in without too much fuss. I'm also using not not cling wrap to cover this, but a, a larger plastic, a, a thicker plastic. So you can still see what you're doing when it's covered, but it will then lift off. Because it was having, I had trouble lifting it off last time. Obviously, because of the tape and all that sort of stuff. But it was the cling wrap was too thin. This is thick out. That should just lift the dome straight off. And instead of using double-sided sticky tape to stick it on, I'm using these little tiny glue dots. They are wafer thin. They're the sort of thing you get when you, when you get a magazine that's got something attached to it. This is what they tend to attach it with. Little glue dot. There are only there's tiny little glue dots sticks on there, and you can peel them back off again. Don't do any damage to anything. All right, so I'm gonna make a start on that and I'll get back to you when I'm a, a bit further along. Hey, that was successful. So uh, removing the dome. We have a uh, proper dome cover now, which is good. What we've got to do is, is file it down. You can see where it's all over bird. You're gonna get more in there than you requ required anyway. But you've got to file it down and, and thin it out, maybe just smooth this off, give it more of that dome shape so you can sand it. It's all sandable now. Um, I'm just so glad it came off, to be fair. Um, so what you've got to do also is allow for this black rim to be in it. So you'll be filing down, so you're sanding down that way as well. So you've got a, a lip coming all the way around. Same here, filing that there. And the top part is just lowering. So you're, you're just lowering that back part there. So you can see the rim all the way around. Once you've um, sanded it all down, nice and thin, and it has to be thin, by the way, way for thin, get as thin as you possibly can. And this stuff is really good for thinning down. It just it thins down really well. Um, once you've done that, thinned it down, you've got it to the correct shape, then you have to primer it. I use Rust-Oleum. Rust-Oleum, uh, they're, they're cheap, very, really cheap, and they do exactly what it says on the can. Uh, so <clears throat> primer it, leave it for 24 hours, I've chosen not to primer the bottom because it needs to adhere to the tape. It, it probably wouldn't make any difference, but um, I feel that's preference. Personal preference is what that is. Um, and then you spray it black. Again, personal preference, I've gone with matte black because I, I think it was more matte than, than shiny in the movie. Um, so I've gone with matte. You, you can go with, with gloss if you want it to be shinier underneath. And that's pretty much it. So then you get the, the spray it black, get the mesh on it, which we will do in the next one, next bit and uh, that should be finished all done it fits lovely I'm, I'm over the moon with that 
So I'm uh, looking forward to spraying it black and putting the, the rest of it together, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, with the dome done, covered in, in mesh, so it's sprayed black and covered in mesh, it looks awesome. I don't know how it's picking out on camera, but it really does look absolutely awesome. I, I love the way it looks. Came out really, really well. And it's really simple to do. What you're doing is, is you're getting the mesh. As you see, it looks like a swan on top and kicking the feet underneath. It's a bit of a mess. Um, so what you do is you put the, the double-sided tape all the way around the inside of this, but quite a way in. And then you've, you've got a square of mesh underneath that. And you'd make a cut there and a cut there and stick that on, stretch it all the way around and stick it onto the, the um, double-sided tape underneath. So you make sure it's all stretched and you make sure it's, it's all in line too. So you've got all your, all, your, um, all your lines are perfectly lined up before you actually stick it down. So you stick it down the other side because you made a cut there and a cut there cut there and a cut there and then you'd make another cut there another cut there another cut into here another cut there and um, just stretch it on so you stretch it all over make it all fit nicely so you get it all fitting nicely just stuck onto the tape then what you do is with super glue you peel back each piece super glue it peel it back stick it back on again and you do that all the way around the inside of the dome. And you can see the white marks of the, of the super glue that's all the way around there. And then what I'm gonna do in a minute is cut off all of this around here, all the excess, just get rid of it. So you've got none of these nasty folds because you need it to fit as flat as you can on top of the dome to get rid of all these bits here. I may even add a little bit more super glue around the, around the edges there. So you cut it all off so there's nothing inside. Take off all the excess tape. Take all the excess tape off because the tape's gonna be on top of the dome. Put the tape on the top of the dome itself, and then when you're ready, you just slot that in, push it down, and stick. That's it, done. So I'll come back to you in a minute when, I, when I've actually sorted that out, getting ready to put it on the dome. Okay, with that done, I've trimmed down all of the edges, all the way around, and I've removed all of the double-sided tape that was in there holding this down to start with. I also put a tag on it. Yay! Well John. Um, do your tag too once you've made it. Tag it. Um, with, the, with the dome, attaching it to the dome, use some tape here, double-sided tape. You're not using too much in case you ever need to take it back off again. So double-sided tape like in a triangle there, a little strip of it there, another triangle that side. Uh, you need another little triangle here or another strip down to hold it there. Same that side and a strip across here. That's all you're really going to need because once you've stuck it on there, double-sided tape will jump straight onto it and it fits absolutely beautifully once it's done and you've pushed it down absolutely beautiful and it looks so much better than the uh, than the original rubber dome that was on there i don't know why hot toys went with a rubber dome this is just absolutely stunning it really is beautiful yeah the reason the only thing i think you could do on this if to damage it is if you're cleaning it and you and you catch the material on the top and tear it then literally take it back off you've got plenty of spare material replace it with some more but it looks absolutely lovely. It looks more 3D. I don't know how it's coming out on the camera. I will do some shots of it and get Ryan to upload all that for you. Um, but it looks like you can see underneath. So there is definitely something underneath looking back out at you, which is what I thought in the film. With the, just the plain flat rubber, never really got that impression. It looks more alive than the, uh, than the other one. And that's that's just about wrapping it up for this part. This is part one. Um, part two is going to be replacing all of the rubber joints. I'll even show you how to um, stiffen up the ball joints if yours have gone a bit loose, because that's a relatively simple thing to do. So we're replacing these and the leg parts, taking them apart, replacing the rubbers, and I'll also tell you where to get them from. So it'll be a breakdown of how to do all of that. Um, so if you'd like to um, like, comment, and subscribe, hopefully I will see you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.